have here. What's up? Take it to 30 here. I hope everyone's having a great day. Welcome back to the monthly series. What are you playing this month? We're asking you what games you'll be playing in the next 30 or so days to come. It's the final month before next year. And here are the last batch of games on tap. Halo was the first game I bought when I got an Xbox back in the day. Actually, scratch that. Halo was the first game my friends got me, even though I didn't have an Xbox yet at the time. Eventually, I got the Xbox in my hands along with Project Gotham Racing. Remember that game? And it's all history. I don't think I ever played Halo single player. My friends would always come over and we would just start and finish the campaign in the subsequent days and then start over because it was so fun. Memories of driving the Warthog with a friend, shooting the Gatling gun, encountering our first hunters and figuring out their weak spot, the flood, sticking a plasma grenade for the first time. I thought it would never end. The successive games were mostly great, though I particularly didn't like Halo 5 as much, so I was a bit cautious about Halo Infinite, but enough time has gone by since 5 to make it feel like a fresh start for the franchise. I haven't played the multiplayer yet, but I've heard solid things, especially since the battle pass was tweaked as of today, so I feel like it's a good sign in regards to the campaign that arrives on December 8th. I'm disappointed, probably along with other folks, that the co-op won't be there at launch. It's the only way I'd like to play Halo, so it's going to feel a little weird playing it solo if I end up getting in at launch. But in any case, I'm excited, but not too hyped. I'm just hoping the time the devs took after the initial reveal has created a great Halo game, and I hope it's a return to form for Master Chief. Again, the campaign is out on the 8th. Is everyone trying to kill you? It kind of seems like it. You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. I remember watching the trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach a while ago, at least it felt like a while ago, and I was looking at the release date and I didn't realize it was coming out so soon. I feel like it's a natural evolution of the series to go into like fully first person survival horror. There have been a lot of fan games that have done this already, so it'll be interesting to see how the next game in the franchise will get creative with the scares. And from the PlayStation blog, you play as Gregory, a little boy who's trapped inside Freddy Fazbear's mega pizza plex overnight. There's stealth, stamina to manage, distractions to cause, places to hide, and even guns, the Faz Blaster to use, and more. It looks like it could be pretty fun if you're into sweating and high heart rates. It's out on the 16th. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? Inside each temple is a labyrinth of mind-bending mazes that hide horrifying trans-dimensional danger that you will need to conquer to reclaim Nar. In Chorus, I know there's a V in there, but it's pronounced Chorus, taken from the Steam description, take control of Nara on a quest to destroy the dark cult that created her. Unlock devastating weapons and mind-bending abilities in an evolution of the space combat shooter. Along with Forsaken, her sentient starfighter, explore ancient temples, engage in zero-g combat, and venture beyond waking reality. So I only read one article on Chorus, and the impression it gave was that the game was on the difficult side. Side. Like, you really have to use all your ship's abilities and know it inside and out to survive the fights that you will be encountering. That made me kind of step back a bit because, you know, sometimes there's a fine line between challenge and frustration. But the more I read the article, of which I can't really remember the publication as it was of now, the combat seemed fun even though it was on the difficult side. If things are fair and my deaths are my fault, eventually learning how to get better and survive, then I'm willing to give it a shot because it's been a while since I played a space combat shooter and despite the difficulty, it looks really fun. It's out on the third. Rise as one. Find anything good? You're not gonna believe this. You know the devs who developed the SteamWorld games? Well, they have a new game coming out that isn't SteamWorld. It's called The Gunk. And it, from the official site, stars Ronnie, part of our duo of gritty space haulers struggling to make a buck as they chance upon an untouched planet brimming with life. They came in search of valuable resources, and it looks like they've hit the jackpot 
As they uncover the dormant secrets of a shattered civilization, they must battle the curse of a toxic gunk parasite, all while getting caught in a spiral of festering mistrust. It's cool to see Image and Form Games working on something new like this, and I am all in. I feel like this is a game that's perfect for the channel, especially with my game choices. So keep an eye on this one. It's out on the 16th. And now for some quick hits. Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker on the 7th? Heavenly Bodies also on the 7th. This one could be pretty funny. Fire Girl Hack and Splash Rescue on the 14th. We have Solar Ash on the 3rd. I covered this on a previous month, but it got delayed. I'll either be doing a playthrough or be doing some impressions on this one. And finally, we have Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun Ico's Choice. I never expected an expansion for Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, and when the developers revealed it, I was all in. Exploring this time in Japanese history again, because Shadow Tactics was an amazing game. Difficult for sure, and it requires a lot of patience, but each encounter is a heck of a puzzle to solve. And I got the same feeling with Desperados 3, which they also developed. I'm looking forward to see what improvements they'll make with this one, especially with Desperados 3 under their belt. Definitely looking forward to this. It's out on the 6th. That should be enough game, so with all that behind us, let me turn my head toward you all and ask... What are you playing this month? That's going to be it for this episode. The list of games is down in the description below. It's not a full list, but most. And remember, some games could still get delayed and new ones could be announced. So if you all made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and take your 230 out. All right, y'all. Come on, everybody. Keep smiling. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you next month. Yes? We do this for the weekend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> An elegant death.